Hey guys, Maggie and Lynn here, and we're at the BTC Show 2021 in Austin, Texas. We will be walking around interviewing stylists and vlogging our experience here at the show. So stay connected with us. Wondering why I move the way I do. I just feel so good. Good, good. Oh, I just feel so good. Hey guys, this is my good friend Mark Bustos, and look at his amazing hair. Can you tell us about how you achieved this look? Um, so of course, I use only the best on my hair. Um, say I it, use blonde say me. it. Blonde me. Um, and I've been bleaching my hair for like 10 years ago, I bleached my hair. And I used to get like burns and stuff all over my scalp, but. Because your hair's really dark, isn't it? It's dark. It's dark. <laughs> well, it's I mean, really I've dark. got a lot of gray hairs now, so I've actually just expedited the process here. Ow, I just feel so good. So I'm here with my, my good friend Danilo Bosick. I say that right? Yeah. Bosick. Yes. The king of air touch. And we've been friends for a very long time. But I wanted to ask you, how did Schwarzkopf help us become even greater friends? First of all, I found Schwarzkopf through you and your salon. And then when I met you and seen everything after that. But later on, Schwarzkopf get us together in a lot of different events. And Schwarzkopf supported us and connected us even more and more through the hair and through the personal relationship because if you ask me Schwarzkopf it's not just a brand it's not just the color it's a personal personal relationship in between people who work together and who are along to each other for me that's really important so so it's like a community it is kind of community for yeah. me it's like really strong community I will say even family yeah family what's your favorite product if you had one to pick one product Ooh, that's a tough question. You gotta pick one. I'm gonna say more vibrance. Amazing. Thank you. So good. I want a big fancy car with the top back and shopping bags filled to the brim in the back seat. I'm going fast. What's up, guys? We're here at the BTC pool party with the one and only Cat Colors. She will be featured on Living in Color very soon. Cat. What is your favorite Schwarzkopf fashion tone? Ooh, my favorite Schwarzkopf fashion tone. That's a hard one because I love them all. But if I had to choose one, I, I'm a sucker for 9,5-19 in Igora Vibrant um, and combined with really anything else. So 9,5-98, um, get a nice like pinky tone to anything, but I don't know. I just 9,5-19, I add to everything. One more question. Spell Schwarzkopf. <laughs> S C H W A R T Z K O P F. Can try it again? Did I spell it wrong? Oh, shoot! Spinning my wheels, keeping it real, feeling the feelings I feel. Maggie and Lynn here, and we are with two of our favorite people one from Fan House and one Hello. from B Scene Studios. We have Shayna and Natalie. We have one question for you guys. Yeah, what's that question? Spell Schwarzkopf. S no looking. No looking. S C H A R R Z. Oh, I can see you looking. Z K O P F. Okay, Shayna, you go. I can't do it. Go, go, go. S C H. I don't know. Straight to the front of the line, got my name on the list, give me room, step aside. Elevator, take it straight to the top, where the whole floor shakes like it's ready to drop. I'll give it to you if you want what I got, here it comes, are you ready or not? Be like me. Found my really good friend Sophie Stagold. What's up, girl? What's up, Maggie? So, Sophie, what do you see in the future of men's hair? That's such a bold question. I know. Like, what styles you do you know, think are going to happen? There's a lot more longer, old school kind of hair because I feel like coming like the back, Leo? like 
like mullets are super back in, but now there's an edge to it, you know, because there's the old traditional mullets where they're a little bit longer, but I feel like now they're mixing it with like a super tight, clean skin taper, but still having the body of an old school mullet, you know? So I feel like things are starting to kind of come back around. And I think it's really exciting to see more longer style men's hair get back into the barbering world. Well, she knows a lot more details about men's hair than I do because I thought there was just one kind of mullet. Be like me. Hey, nobody else like me. We are here with my good friend Jacob Kahn. Hey, man. What's How going are you on, doing? Man? Doing great. Enjoying the show? Of course. Having a wonderful awesome. time. I just want to ask you a couple questions. I would love it. Let's do it. Can you spell Schwarzkopf without looking at the mic? <laughs> <laughs> just go for it. Um, let's see. S C H. W A R K O P H Schwartz. Is there a Z in there somewhere? I found my bestie Haley. Hi everyone. So a lot of people might not know this, but shows like this take so so much work. Like even thinking about it makes me want to throw up and die. And I don't think a lot of stylists understand like the amount of work that goes into something like this. So can you kind of explain like how you guys put this show together? Absolutely. Well, <laughs> first of all, sure can. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. Hi, baby. So it really does take a village. What you guys see is just when everything is set up, but we all come here a full week in advance. Our team does three to four site visits during the actual year here to make sure that everything with planning is measured and working with the hotel. Our entire team comes in and we really wear a lot of hats. I think it's amazing because it really helps with team bonding, but like your wristbands, for example, which mine's you don't on, have, mine's but on my your wristbands, purse. your badges, check-in, registration, that's all us, but we actually build the majority of this too. So anything like banners um, that you see around here, like our team actually built that a couple of days in and that's just on site. We actually have an entire team throughout the year too that helps with logistics, that deals with sponsors, making sure that things are shipped in in a timely manner and are here on time. It really does take a village and I'm just a very small piece of that particular puzzle. So we're here at the BTC show looking for artists to talk to and let's, let's, let's find someone to talk to. Excuse me, can we interview you? Yeah. Thank you. You're kind of cute. I'm actually um, engaged to a hairdresser already, but I'm really flattered that you think I'm cute. He's a lucky guy. He is, I know. He's really lucky. Like, really, really, really extremely lucky. He's the luckiest guy that I know. He is. Yeah, he is. Yeah. So what are you... I'm so nervous. So I've you're going to interview me now? No. I'm sorry. I've never been on camera before. I'm nervous. So how are you enjoying the show? Um, I'm loving it. I'm spending way too much money. You know what? You're kind of cute, too. <laughs> Can I stand this close? Yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm Do you have any other questions for me? Um, when did you get engaged? Um, actually, a couple years ago at the BTC show. Oh, wow. Yeah, my fiance is actually kind of like a famous hairdresser, so. More famous than me? Uh, I'd, pay, I'd say pretty significantly more famous than you. <laughs> okay. How do you spell Schwarzkopf? S-C-H-W-A-R-Z-K-O-P-F. Perfect. Do you want to make out? Everybody trying to be somebody. Ain't nobody else like me. Everybody trying to be somebody. Ain't